Okay, so hi again on the smart production with now the unwrap uh, mode. Um, so, for example, if I want to unwrap this area, I can probably make just a selection and with the quick select um, similar by uh, two degree, I can select all those um, no th those polygons. And now I can use the, for example, the smart uh, production unwrap in a conformal uh, planar mode. I, I use conform, but that's conformal uh, mode here, as you can see, conformal. So you have the two different methods. Uh, you have the conformal and the angle base. And inside those, you have also the solution to press control uh, key to have a group normal uh, method or, I mean, initial production group normal or uh, a planar one so yeah so we will go through uh, those so the unwrap of course will um, move the UVs here on the lowest part of the um, the, the UV space the UV space so minus uh, I mean positive uh, U and negative uh, V so with the conformal here, the angle base here, and the rectangle. So uh, to this example, so conform uh, planar. If I do this, it update the UV seam um, cut map, and we we see the result. So <laughs> it totally failed uh, with the this mode uh, conform planar. So instead, I will use the conform group normal, and see what the result is. It's better. Uh, for this uh, this example, but yeah, we can continue on the next uh, the next area. So, for example, I select this, and I will do the same stuff. So, as I know that the group normal is working better. So, if I do this, I have an overlap of those two different islands. So, you have the solution to do the same stuff, uh, but having also a repack process at the end. So if I press shift this time, I have a conform mode, conformal uh, method with group normal uh, initial production and a repack. So if I do this and click, now I have a repack of those two islands. So everything that is inside this area have been repacked. Uh, so you can add over and over again uh, those uh, islands and it will uh, always repack those islands so it can be really useful uh, it's up to you <laughs> i didn't like this one because probably the the planner is better to have the orientation already uh, fixed to those um, those edges for example so i should prefer probably to use planar mode to unwrap this but this is just for the purpose of the video uh, so you have this uh, you have um, a solution to uh, use an angle based uh, method so this time we will uh, work in a different uh, part of the mesh so here we have the selection and we will use angle based planner so now again it add uh, every every uv that is already processed and we have the result here and as you can see model didn't um, do the, the good job even if we use an initial planar mode um, here so also you see you have the the tool tips that is explaining what 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 it does uh, inside the every little um, buttons so here we will not use angle based planar but instead angle based group normal and we will probably get a very much better result so this one is okay now so I can do this, I can do again uh, <coughs> a selection, uh, I will probably add a, a select similar and, and unwrap uh, directly uh, scripts. Uh, so anyway, I continue here, I will use uh, angle based group normal. And now as you can see, it didn't uh, repack those, so probably I use, I should use a different solution. Sorry, undo, redo and now i will not use just uh, this uh, solution but 
the solution with the shift key pressed and hold uh, and you have an alternate uh, command so you can uh, click here and it will unwrap and repack uh, and get the same pixel density between those two different areas so this is really great so, i mean you, you already know um, and get the, the correct pixel density between the different uh, uvs so you have this um, it's up to you <laughs> it's it's really interesting uh, to use this uh, smart unwrap uh, function you have the same stuff also with the uh, on the, the cylinders so for example uh, here we have different cylinders that have uh, different holes so I will select just two polygons uh, on any part and make multiple selections so it's a bit different than the cylindrical and the planar that may didn't work with multiple selection especially the cylindrical one even if you use the free um, method but here we will use the unwrap um, uh, selection so I will, I will probably go through the statistics you see you have a tag for every UV that is already done so you can basically select them and hide them if you want uh, it's up to you uh, so just to ident identify what is done and what is not um, so I will make a selection here we have a selection with a ways two uh, polygons here and they are sharing i mean they have no orientation specifically they are all free in many different directions uh, so now i will use uh, just so two polygons on each and use the auto loop rectangle method with the unwrap so it will unwrap them and what is good is it puts everything here uh, in this area uh, but didn't repack them so I can also again uh, use a different method so pressing shift I can auto loop rectangle those ions and repack so I will do this and you see <laughs> we have already the the UV islands uh, completely organized and packed and yeah that's that's really fancy and if you use this always all the time it will again repack 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 every time you are uh, deploying things but it's fairly fast uh, so it's up to you uh, you have the solution here so uh, <coughs> i have no, no <coughs> voice now uh, i will stop there and continue on the next video see you bye bye